Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, actually, this is my first video in my YouTube channel. And for today's video, we're going to make a movie analysis. Actually, the movie analysis that I'm going to make is my terminal project in 21st century. So, so let's start! <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back and I'm doing my marketing plan and doing some revisions while doing my movie analysis about my past game. So yeah, I basically changed my camera. So before we start, I just wanted to share with all of you that my teacher in 21st century she gave us a list of movie literature like Philippine literature, Chinese, Japanese, American, and so on. And she gave us two a guide questions to answer before we after we watch the movie. But I prefer Philippine literature because I think that I can better understand the story of the movie and I can clearly analyze the movie. And in Philippine literature, I choose Anak movie directed by Roy Quintos and the main character is Vilma Santos. Yeah. So, as of now, come with me as I watch the movie. Let's go! today because I didn't finish the movie last night so I finished it earlier after the after lunch before my class and now I can say that after or while I'm watching the movie I can definitely say that I really can feel the emotions the meaning of the story and what does it really want to tell us if am I right? <laughs> like that. So now let's start my movie analysis or how I understand it. Let's go. In this depressing family drama, a woman struggling to make a better life for her family discovers that her efforts have caused a schism between her and her children. Vilma Santos as Josie is a mother of three from the Philippines who took a job as a nanny for a wealthy couple in Hong Kong for several years. Josie knew she could make far more money in Hong Kong than she could at home, but she was concerned about the impact on her children, especially since her husband died not long after she left. When Josie returns home, she has gifts for everyone and has saved a large portion of her salary, which she intends to use to start a business. However, her children do not warmly welcome her back. 
The younger children, Sheila May Alvaro as Daday and Baron Gisler as Michael, are guarded around Josie. And while they eventually mend their relationship with their mother, the oldest, Claudine Barreto, as Carla, does nothing to hide her resentment for what she perceives to be a callous abandonment of her family. Carla openly challenges Josie's authority, begins dating boys her mother would not approve of, flaunts her growing sexuality, and begins using drugs. An act premiered in the United States at the 2001 San Francisco Asian American Film Festival. Nagdaan pa ang mga araw at ang landas mo'y naligaw Ikaw ay nalulong sa masamang bisyo At ang una mong nilapitan ang iyong inang lumuluha At ang tanong anak, ba't ka nagkaganyan? Sana Tuwing umiinom ka ng alak, habang hinihitip mo ang sigarilyo mo, habang nilulustay mo yung mga perang pinadala ko, sana maisip mo rin kung ilang pagkain ang tinis kong hindi kainin para lang makapagpadala ako ng malaking pera dito. Sana maisip mo kahit konti kung kano kasakit sa akin ang mag-alaga ng mga bata hindi ko kaano-ano. Samantalang kayo, kayo mga anak ko na hindi ko man lang kayo maalagaan. Alam mo ba kung gano'ng kasakit yun sa isang ina? Pagsisisiyang sa isip mo, alaman mo, ika'y nagkamali. So, as I've said earlier in the movie, our teacher gave us a guide question that we can answer after we watch the movie. So, these are the questions that I choose and... I'm going, I'm going to read it in front here in Melapa. The first question or in category is in empathetic reaction. The resolution of the film teaches a lesson. How can you apply the lesson in the film to your own life? The film's first lesson is about how to value your parents who are in another country and want to provide you with a good life. For me, I will apply that lesson in my life by appreciating my parents now, even if they are not abroad. For example, if they are giving me a monthly allowance, instead of buying things that aren't necessary, I just buy the things that I desperately need. And if my parents are abroad, I just thank them because even though I don't wish to have a very, very good life, they still give it to me and they really work hard abroad just to earn a lot of money. Number two, what was the strongest emotion that you felt when watching the film? Actually, this is the true. And when I was watching the film, it was it was a full of emotion, but there was one thing I really felt. It was sad because Carla, Joss's daughter, couldn't understand why her mother was doing those things that required her to work abroad in order for them to live a good life. She is a really unappreciative of what her mother is doing. In the next category, focusing on plot, what instability is there early in the story that is resolved and becomes stable by the end? The instability in the beginning of the story that becomes resolved and stable in the end is that her children, particularly her eldest daughter, do not understand why her mother just needs to leave them to work abroad. And at first, her daughter rebelled, but in the end, she eventually matured into a good daughter, her pursued her studies. Next category, 
about themes, messages, and idea, and choose only one? What life lessons can be learned from the choices made by the characters in the story? There are two life lessons that can be learned or that I learned from the film. The first is that you must appreciate and understand what your parents are doing, especially when they need to work abroad to fill those things that they cannot afford when working here in the Philippines. That you should be grateful for them because they are doing the best they can for us or for their children. Second, I learned that when you become a mother, you need to go to work abroad. You really need to explain to your children why you need to go there and don't make them feel like they are nothing to you. The second to the last category is about literary elements. What is the tone or mood of the story? The tone of the movie is sad and cathartic because if you really watch the movie, you can feel that we must make sacrifices in order to advance in life and never ever give up despite numerous challenges and adversity, particularly for those OFWs reflecting the hardships that many overseas Filipino domestic workers face in order to provide for their families and be grateful for your parents so that's it pansit and thank you for watching i do hope you appreciate it good night